Hello everybody! This video is the continuation of a two-part video series about empty LED batteries that are so annoying. If you haven't watched part one showing you the basics for this video, then please watch video number one now. In video number one I had already shown you how you can build a circuit that allows you to convert an originally battery powered LED strip into a mains powered LED strip and how you can add a button to turn on or off the LED strip. But the solution we had built was quite prototypical. So I had promised you that I will post a second video that shows you how to make a little more professional solution out of this. I wanted to find a solution that is as unobtrusive as possible so that you don't see it when you walk into the kids bedroom. And the solution I found is that I use a very small ESP32 Pico based board for controlling the circuit. And the board I used looks like this. And the cool thing about this little board is that it already comes with a button here that you can use to turn on and off the light strip. It already comes with some GPIO input outputs and it even comes with GPIO inputs and outputs as well as 5 volts and ground here which is quite handy because it's in the same side that the USB power goes in. You can also use it to go out in the same direction with some cables to control your circuit, which is quite handy if you want to install this to a bed. So this is the perfect board for me. And it comes with some nice plastic housing to cover it up. And here you can see this is where you can push the button. Isn't that a great solution for our problem? So, now that we have selected the board, we can update our circuit diagram. So, this is how it looks like. We have our mini board with the ESP32 Pico on the left side. This comes with this white plug that has actually four pins. And we connect the very right pin, which is the GPIO32, with a 1K resistor to the gate of an N-channel MOSFET. Then we connect the ground signal, which is the, on the very left of the white plug, to the source of the N-channel MOSFET. We connect the drain of the N-channel MOSFET to the minus of the LED strip. And we connect the 5 volts power, which is the second pin from the left in the white plug of the mini board with a 10 ohm resistor to the plus side of the LED strip. And that's it. And then you can just power the ESP board via a standard USB-C cable using a 5 volts power supply via your standard mains outlet. So now let's do some soldering. The only soldering that is required here is to solder some connection cables to the N-channel MOSFET as well as adding the resistors to the circuit. Now let's dive into the YAML code that we need to compile and flash onto the ESP board in order to make the magic work. First we need to find a switch of platform GPIO which goes to pin 32. Pin 32 is the pin we saw before which connects to the yellow cable and this yellow cable goes to the MOSFET. So it actually allows current to flow through the MOSFET or not. And that's why I call it switch light strip because this actually makes the light strip turn on or off. And then we also have a binary sensor of platform GPIO which goes to pin 39. Uh, pin 39 is the pin where the little button that we saw before on the ESP board is connected to. If this little button is pressed on press, then check if condition switch is off is true, which means is this switch turned off. If it's turned off, then turn it on, wait for an hour and then turn it off again. Why do I wait for an hour? I just want to make sure that if my little daughter turns the switch on and then she falls asleep, that it will be automatically turned off after an hour again. But if you press again and the switch is not off, then the switch should be turned off. By this, you can just 
push the button once, then the timer will be activated. But if you want to turn it off before, you can also push the button before to turn it off. And now we can see our solution in action. This is the LED strip and on the left side of the bed, which is the side facing to the window away from the door, so you don't see it if you walk into the room. Here we have this little button that you can press to turn on or off the LED strip. And of course, you can now also control the light from Home Assistant, which gives you more possibilities for automations. If you like this solution as well as the video, then please subscribe to my channel and also watch my other videos. Thank you. Bye bye.